Ladies and gents, Yilan has been announced, obviously, and we have seen some little footage here and there of Yilan, specifically where she was in the story quest, and she had a little bit of a something some. She had a bow. As we all know, Yilan is going to be a Hydro character, and because of that, we know that she is going to be Hydro and possibly a bow user. Now, we've already had a Hydro quote-unquote bow user which is Tartaglia, and Tartaglia uses a bow in a way, in a sense. So Tartaglia, the whole shtick with him is that he can change his stance into the whole melee stance, right? And this is sick. I really like that. And that is something that's super unique to Tartaglia, and I really do enjoy that. But I do also think that Yilan will not have this feature. She, I don't think she will. She's going to be pure hydro bow user only. And that is something to think about here because while Tartaglia has his little thing here, she's going to be way different than that. She's going to have something special that goes on with her kit that involves the bow. So I'm assuming maybe something like an ultimate or a burst that, you know, the bow just fires a bunch of shots at him or they do something special with the burst. Because as we all know, we already have a character that does an insane amount of burst using their bow and melee stance right you got this thing Tartaglia has a large amount of you know the, the burst percentage so he has around 789 percent on the melee 643 percent on the range and an extra 204 percent on the riptide blast a pretty big nuke damage now if yulon is to compete with that she's going to have a different thing with her kit from the elemental skill maybe it buffs her up maybe it does a little support feature something unique to help her out with her kit and then going to have her cute now in terms of her being a main dps or support we've already seen ayato being a main dps we've seen tartaglia being a main dps we've seen a lot of these characters being main dps that i think she's going to be a support even though nowadays people will do not use tartaglia as a main dps he's more of an enabler allows you to you know apply hydro a bunch of time now yulan is probably going to have a support capability that is going to make her pretty unique and i think that is something to look forward to because if we have a support character doing the bow i would think someone like ganyu with the whole burst support that is going to be something we're expecting or should be expecting from yelan because that's what you know supports do a month of skill and then burst and then that burst is going to like stay on the field for a while and do something unique and i feel like a hydro character that does that is always insane see something like shing cho shing cho having that burst up the whole time doing so much hydro application is insane so if we see yelan doing something like that it's going to be a really big game changer as we don't need only shing cho on one team we can have shing cho and yelan on two separate teams and it is going to be nasty if you guys are planning to summon on someone like ayaka or maybe even kazuha in the future if he does have a rerun you might want to hold off just a little bit until the end of Ayaka's banner to make a decision whether you want Ayaka or if you want Yelan. Now, Yelan is going to be showcased in a live stream at the very end of Ayaka's banner. So you guys are going to have to wait a while until Ayaka actually comes out and the banner is almost over to make this decision. But I'm pretty sure you guys can wait. You know, you've been waiting all this time for Ayaka to rebound anyway. So just wait until that moment and then decide whether you want Yelan or not. But that is it. That is what I wanted to talk about. Yelan is a pretty exciting character. I am i can't wait to actually see a proper Hydro Bull user, some sort of support ability to have her in your team. Something similar to maybe like Xing Chou. That is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. I would appreciate that so very much. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.